history. No interest in learning about it. The week a train derailment poisoned an entire town in Ohio, the transportation secretary, the man in charge of preventing train derailments, held a press conference attacking white construction workers because they're the problem. It's 1952. Our 80-year-old president, meanwhile, 80 years old, he seems convinced since 1915, and we're all living in rural Alabama, burning crosses in the front yards of terrified sharecroppers to amuse ourselves. We don't have TV. Biden gave a speech the other day in 2023 to denounce lynching as if lynching is still happening in the United States. It all seems a little delusional. So it was with genuine relief that we saw today one of Biden's top cabinet officials, Janet Yellen, who runs the Treasury Department, sign off her Twitter account, finally leave Washington and meet with actual flesh and blood human beings who are suffering. And not only did she meet with them to prove her sincerity, Janet Yellen brought with her a check for a billion dollars. And we'll admit, partisanship aside, we were happy to see that. Finally, someone in the Biden administration who actually cares. Who's getting on an airplane to show concern. That's the good news. The bad news is Janet Yellen was not in East Palestine. She was in Ukraine. Watch. And today I'm proud to announce the transfer of an additional amount of over $1.2 billion. That's the first tranche of about $10 billion in direct budget support that the United States will provide in the coming months. We love you so much that we will give you whatever you want, anything, a new bicycle, a puppy, a pony, it's yours, we love you. Billions more for Ukraine, your tax dollars, but that money's not going to be going to the newly poisoned communities of Eastern Ohio, who cares about them. It's not going to be earmarked for the hundreds of thousands of American families who have lost loved ones to the opioid epidemic, an epidemic that was created by Democratic donors at Purdue Pharma. No, that money's going to Zelensky and his wife in Kiev. And that money will complement the more than $100 billion in tax dollars they've already received from the U.S. Treasury. And you've got to think, as they watch this night, assuming there's still TV reception in East Palestine, the people who are stuck there are kicking themselves. If only they had paid Joe Biden's crackhead son 80 grand a month for a no-show job, Janet Yellen might be visiting them today. It seemed like a lot of money at the time, but that turned out to be the best investment those Ukrainian oligarchs ever made. It was like buying Google stock 20 years ago. Talk about a jackpot. 